Hola, hola, ¿cómo estás? How are you? ¿Qué tal? My name is Ana Jaworski. I am the creator of the Spanish Playlist program. It's a preschool program designed for children who are preschoolers ages between two to six years old. But today I wanted to go a little bit farther and I wanted to show you how you can start this journey with your babies. When you have your babies, the best thing you can do with them is to interact with them in Spanish if you know already the language. Even if you know a little bit, it's, it's a great way how you can start with your children. Read baby books and sing songs like these ones that I'm going to uh, show you today. So the first one I'm going to show you is the Itsy Bitsy Araña. Itsy Bitsy Spider. You will know this one. We're going to use the same signing, but what I'm going to be singing in Spanish, okay? And it's going to be very short and sweet as all these songs that I teach to the little ones, especially when they are not native speakers. Um, the song goes like this. Itsy bitsy araña tejió su telaraña bajo la lluvia y se la llevó. Salió el sol y secó la lluvia. Itsy bitsy araña otra vez subió. Song number two, it's going to be the ABCs. The ABCs, even if you have a baby, the little brain is recording all that, all that information. So it's great that you start the ABCs when they are babies. So you just start singing. You can maybe make the signs, the sign for each letter, if you know them. Or if not, you can just play with your child, just going through their legs or through their arms. So I'm going to show you today how I do it with my, my signing with my hands. And we're going to start like this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, N, I tap my head because it has a little line on the end. N-E-O-P-Q-R-E-C-T-U-V-W-X-Y-Z Vamos a cantar otra vez el ABC that's song number two. Another nursery rhyme that you can sing is the um, El Elefante. El Elefante se balanceaba. This is a traditional nursery rhyme that we sing um, in Hispanic countries. So it goes like this. Un elefante se balanceaba sobre la tela de una araña. Como veía que resistía, fueron a llamar otro elefante. Dos elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de una araña. Como veían que resistía, fueron a llamar otro elefante. Tres elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de una araña. Como veían que resistían, fueron a llamar a otro elefante. And then you can go as high as you want. Sometimes when you have babies, you can go up to five because then their attention span is gone completely. <laughs> so it's very, very short. There is another one that I use with my babies. is um, the <sighs> Las Hormiguitas. The little ants go marching, marching. With that one, you can go maybe when you are changing their diapers or when you are changing their clothes and they don't want to cooperate. I always use that one to get their attention and start giggling. <laughs> so you go like this. Um, Las hormiguitas van marchando, marchando. Las hormiguitas van marchando, marchando. Las hormiguitas van marchando, marchando. 
Cuando son un poquito más grandes, when they are a little bit older and you start introducing numbers, you can go, las hormiguitas van de dos de dos en dos. Las hormiguitas van de dos de dos en dos. Las hormiguitas marchan de dos en dos. Y ahora tres. Las hormiguitas van marchando de tres en tres. Las hormiguitas van marchando de tres en tres. Las hormiguitas van marchando de tres en tres. Tararán, tan, 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 tararán, tararán. And then you come maybe um, up to five. That is very, very uh, helpful when they are toddlers. They're between baby and toddlers. They might be around nine, 10, 12 months old and they start walking. Um, then you can make them, you can help them marching. There is another uh, nursery rhyme that um, goes like this. Um, it is about a little uh, muñeco, it's a doll that you are washing their face and then you are washing their hair. <clears throat> His name is uh, Ping Pong. Ping Pong es un muñeco. It's also a nursery rhyme that we sing in Hispanic countries. So <clears throat> Ping Pong goes like this. Ping Pong es un muñeco. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Ping Pong es un muñeco muy guapo y de cartón. Se lava la carita con agua y con jabón. Se desenreda el pelo con peine de marfil. Y se hace tirones y llora y hace así. <laughs> It's very simple. Pimpón is a dog. It's very handsome and made of board, cardboard. He washes his little face with water and soap. He combs his hair and tangles his hair with a comb. And when he gets a tangle, he cries and goes like this. If you want to have like a little uh, translation of what that means. So I hope you uh, like these little uh, songs. Those are nursery rhymes. So I encourage you to uh, find some nursery rhymes or just pick one or two in Spanish and start making it like a, you know, a habit for you to start singing them, singing them every day when you are uh, doing something special with your little ones. For example, when you are washing your hands, when you are going to feed your children and you need them to wash your hands, This is not a nursery rhyme, but this is something that uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I started singing with my children because I knew I wanted to make it a habit and I wanted them to learn it. And it's, yo me lavo las manos con agua y con jabón, con agua y con jabón, con agua y con jabón. Yo me lavo las manos con agua y con jabón. And you hear my dog. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Well, hope this is helpful to you. And then I will see you in our next video. Bye-bye. Take care.